Hello, this is Darren Kincaid with an instructional video on how to use Google AdWords keyword research tool. Go to google.com then go to advertising programs click on the Google AdWords link and then sign into your account. Once your account interface comes up, click on the campaigns tab. There you will see your current campaign. So you can simply click on your campaign. And then you can click on your ad group. And then at this point you have, uh, you can click on your keywords tab if that doesn't come up automatically. And now you want to add keywords. You'll see over here there's a loading sample keywords thing coming up, but uh, more importantly you'll see this little link right here that says keyword tool. Click on this keyword tool link. This will bring up this great uh, keyword tool interface that Google has integrated into AdWords. And at this point you have three different options. You can uh, simply type in the word that you want or let Google look at your website content and make keywords based on the content itself or use an existing keyword. In this, in this particular way we're going to uh, type in some keywords. So we'll just type in something like weather strip. And if you want to use synonyms, find out all the derivatives based on a weather strip, you can do that and then click get keyword ideas. Just have to be a little patient while it's thinking. And once it comes up, then you have all this excellent information. It gives you uh, an enormous amount of information like the advertiser competition, the uh, search volume for the previous month, the global search volume, and if you ever want want to know why what what certain elements mean, you can simply hover over that, and you'll see uh, what the uh, you know what, what that particular column means. Now, there is also uh, the ability to change the columns that you're looking at. So, if you want to show the estimated ad position, for example, you can click on that. Then it shows where you're at for the um, estimated um, right now this is what the estimated or maximum CPC bit, bit is you can recalculate that if you want to bid more uh, on average per CPC you can say okay I'm gonna go with two dollars and fifty cents and then just click the recalculate button uh, once you do that that will change the estimated ad positions for those key phrases that require more money to bid on Again, a uh, little wait time required, a little patience. All right, the, uh, we can also uh, look at other things like uh, search volume trends. If we want to see over time, uh, over the year, how the trends look for this particular key phrase, you'll find out which months are hot and which months are not. You can also uh, select show highest volume occurred in. That tells you which month is the hottest month so that you don't have to figure it out based on these bar graphs. And you can also show the estimated average cost per click. This is also associated with this uh, budget up here. So um, if, if you find out that uh, certain key phrases are quite expensive, you might be able to bid more to, uh, to get you a better position over here. Looks like in this case, um, the $2.80 was enough for this particular key phrase. Now, one of the other great things is at the end, you can also export the um, all the information. So just click on CSV export. You can either open it up or you can save the, uh, the export file. And you'll see that here now we have all the keywords in an exportable CSV file. That's it. This is Darren Kincaid. If you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call, 757-788-1343, or you can email me at darren at wsiseoexpert.com. That's darren, D-A-R-R-E-N, at wsiseoexpert.com.